Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. This is episode five of On the Couch Powered by Super Bets. I'm your host, Um Jaga. Of course, I'm hanging out with some of the greatest that we've seen on the football pitch in South Africa. Of course, uh, they're also taking the name globally to different parts of the world. Uh, speaking about none other than, you can guess, I'm in Cape Town, in Greenpoint. I've got the stadium backdrop behind me, at Cape Town Stadium, which hosted the 2010 World Cup. So that's a bit of a clue of the guests that I've got here with me today. We, we hear from books with these two guys, uh, but the Bromini brothers here with me, Tando and Tabo Bromini. What's up, Chance? Ahoy, ahoy, Show up, You know, it's, it's, it's good to have you guys here. Of course, the reason we're in Cape Town, it's Pirates in the City. Uh, Cape Town City are hosting uh, Orlando Pirates and they're running some fantastic events uh, to activate this big match for them. They're facing each other for the first time. Of course, we're not from Tiba. You're a former Pirates player as well. So that's why we have you here. Of course, Tando, you used to slay um, everybody <laughs> on this pitch, <laughs> including Orlando Pirates, which is a team that you support as a, as a young man. Uh, first of all, how's the vibe, you know, knowing that Pirates are in the, are in the building? Um, uh, the vibe is okay, man, for it. Uh, there's nothing to complain about. Um, I just hope uh, the team does it uh, can never want to start. Sure. sure. Uh, exciting times. Uh, uh, hasn't been a lot of football lately. So uh, it's good to have a bit of Pirates uh, early on in the new year. Yeah, and let's get, uh, yeah, let's, let's speak about uh, some of the formal formalities that we, that we do have. Uh, mm-hmm. The news of Mr. Albert Hendricks uh, from Kiba, mm-hmm. you know, whom you know very, very well from back in the day from Cape Town Spurs, uh, yeah. and of course, throughout your career. Well, um, yeah, we heard the news of his passing from Tiba. Very important to actually, it shocked me to hear that um, Albert um, uh, has left us in forward. Um, what I can say, Albert, hey, I think he, he was the first Landuga kid named. <laughs> and I can go, yes. Sure. Yeah, 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 when I joined Landuga, he kept on space. Sure. So almost us in the location, we don't have a kid managers. <laughs> so, so when I started my professional football in Cape Town Spurs, I met to Alpen. Sure. Yeah, since all these years, yeah, yeah, totally away. Sure. What a wonderful person for it. My use condolences for it to be grand. For sure. When I turn to, any message from you? Uh, condolences to uh, Mr. Hendricks and his family. Uh, I've met him a couple of times, uh, pre-game, post-game, um, at all the clubs he's been. So, a uh, wonderful man. And he's a great loss for Cape Town football. And so, that's first of all. We're getting a bit of feedback. Of course, um, we also lost another legend, a, glo- a more global legend. Um, uh, uh, Pelé, you know, <laughs> uh, you might have not seen him by that much, but you know about Pelé. <laughs> uh, I know about Pelé. I think that's another huge loss uh, to the football fraternity. Uh, I think maybe I was called Pelé once or twice in my career. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't deserve it. But uh, a great loss for for world football. From uh, Tiba. what a great man for it. Uh, Abandon so long as you can't go to the house. Yeah, it's a point. Yeah, so um, I think uh, Uyen Zilindo Yaki, I think he's one of the greatest and the soccer players you'll ever find. Yeah, totally. Sure, boy. Sure. And of course, on, on the fun side from Tiva, the news of uh, your family, Adidas, signing up with Jamaica. With ha, the Jamaica ha, Football ha, ha, Association. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but I, I think Adidas has got something with, uh, with the Rastas or the Jamaicans. Um, <laughs> yeah. even, even if you can see those uh, Pop Mali albums, you'll see Pop Mali is wearing Adidas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ever, ever since I've started playing football, sure. all my years I've worn Adidas. Sure, even, sure. Even, now, even now I've stopped playing, but I'm still wearing Adidas. <laughs> No, my eyes now who to call now. Um, you know, tell us who is the campaign, but man, my eyes to call at least in the Chaman. Yeah, no, no, Tabo is there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've, tried, <laughs> I've, 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 I've tried to change it, it didn't work. 
<laughs> if I wear other other sportswear, uh, my sure. body is full of pimples. So sure, sure. Yeah, so. <laughs> Excellent, Charlie. Of course, um, uh, Diego, uh, to your careers, Ken. Um, let's run. Let's run the promo. A uh, responsible gambling promo. Uh, just to remind people, um, while we're here, uh, we don't want them to bet. Regrettably, we don't want we don't want them to do things that they regret. We want them to rest. Uh, the cost bet responsibly. You must play this thing. Um, you must take a break in between. Hit the reset button whenever you're feeling exhausted or fatigued. Or even, in, you know, when you're clogged up and you can't make a decision. It's okay to take a step back and relax and just bet responsibly. This is a message by Superbet. Yeah, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, let's get into it, Mogu. Um, Tando, I think let's start. Um, you know, they say beauty before age, you know? Age before beauty. Uh-huh. I don't know. We're going to switch it, man. Uh, uh. <laughs> age, I like that. <laughs> age. Um, I, I think, of course, everybody was going was going wild about you as a teenager, you know, and you probably knew you're also going to be a pro at one stage. Um, especially having a brother was already killing it, you know. Did, did you ever feel any pressure? Because I don't remember you having a bad day or anybody ever criticizing you as a teenager. Uh, as a teenager, it was uh, pretty rough uh, for me. Uh, being compared to this great man right here. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't always easy, but uh, it was a challenge that I accepted. Yeah. So I knew the sacrifices I needed to make uh, to get as close as possible to him as possible. So uh, I think I did very well. Uh, he both agreed at one point that uh, I am the better one. That was from his mouth directly. So case is closed. <laughs> 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 big shoes, I, big shoes to fill, man. Yeah. Huh? Big I, shoes to fill. In in his books, I fill them. And the, I, <laughs> that's enough. For me, that is enough. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And from Tiba, uh, uh-huh. of course, when I, as you say, you know, you are you are maybe the lamb in the sacrifice, you know, to break to break down those doors uh, for many uh, for, for many guys, you know, um, um, you know, from the township, you know, breaking into those pro ranks. It was also pretty late in your career. You know, um, having a younger brother was making waves. How was that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, but okay, it was. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't say it was funny. Um, yeah. But uh, also another side, it was a, a great thing. Um, especially we are coming from a place like uh, Cape Town yeah. um, to have uh, two brothers playing uh, professional football. Hey, sure. Yeah, that is something superb. Yes, uh, yeah. But uh, but on the other side, uh, what I liked about him, um, he always knew that I was his booty. As long as he respected me, and uh, in a way, he went almost the same way. But uh, yeah. he, he was right. Yeah, he was right. I told him <laughs> that yeah, he was more talented than me. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's the fact. But. <laughs> but in terms of the heart, that's another thing. No? That's another thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, so that's, where, that's where we differ. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, sure. Who got? Who got? Who got? Who got the? Uh, who got the national call up first? Uh, 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 definitely, my age. At, at your the question age. should be at what? <laughs> At what age? At who get the call up first? Yeah. So if it's <laughs> any I get the first. You get the best under 17. Yeah, if we compare the two, I get the first. But yeah. uh, it's, only, it's only because of the work that he put in that uh, yeah. he was able to be recognized from a younger age. Yeah, yeah. Uh, during his tenure, I mean, he blossomed late in his career, but uh, yeah. it was a sacrifice. Was sure. a sacrifice. So we can only be grateful to, to him and uh, other fellow professionals uh, who worked yeah. there. Yeah. Your, your road was a little bit longer from Tiba, eh? Um, you made your you, you made your breakthrough into Bafana quite late as well. Yeah, I'm for to uh, it will go back to the to the same statement that I've told you that um, when you're from Cape Town, it was really difficult for to to get into a professional land okay, when you're coming from a location where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so when you're saying that yeah, I I I broke those doors, that's a reality. Um. Maybe really, I didn't soften it up for the tandos to come through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, though for me at the time, it wasn't a nice feeling. Sure. Because sure. I knew that I wasn't wanted, but I, I knew that I could make it. Sure. So uh, thanks thanks to people like Sergio De Santos, the one that saw me that, okay, um, I'm in a right stage now to play professional football. It doesn't matter where I come from. Sure. What, what 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 color do I have? You understand? Yeah. So uh, it really um, even the road that I took it played in my career. Yeah. Because I knew that um, every time when I go to play, I know that I have to break those walls. Sure. Sure. Uh, you, sure. you, you understand? And luckily for me, I think uh, things go, went well for me. Yeah. Sure. You used to walk. You used to walk from Gug to Ikamva. Huh? Is that? It? Is that, is that really true? Yeah. <laughs> Locals I, answering. I, I, took, I took that walk once. <laughs> I know how true that was. And never no. did I do that. Yeah, that's true. No one, no one I got the fit most. My leg all the way from Cook's. The biggest thing warm up here the most. You see on the other side, you, <laughs> on the other side, you may think that, okay, no, it's a bad thing. But on the other side, they didn't know that they were strengthening me. Sure, sure, yeah, sure. because the real Ligenyani, every time when they will still close end of the game, hey, I was always shocked. Oh, is it really finished? We are sure, talking sure, so, sure. so sharp and for it. Yes, sir. Um, from Tiba, why, why am Tata, why am Tata Parks? You know, you did what you did in Tata Parks, and then why are we pirates as well? Which yeah. one ranks, which one, which one was the was, was your was your best, best moment? Um, if you can say, you know, your best experience oh. as a professional player. I think both were the best, but in a super, in a, in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in a day by pushbacks, yeah, I could really feel that I'm at home. Sure. But speaking the same language, even sure. though you're going to talk with the boss, you're saying, hey, Tata, there's no A sure. boss that I yeah, understand along the way. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, and, and we were like a family there at uh, Pushbacks. And then Orlando yes. Parades is another, is another story. It's a big team. Yeah. Uh, big followers, the diehards of Orlando Parades. Uh, difficult team to play for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you understand that because you've got the pressure of yourself that you have to perform. You've got sure. the pressure of subcards where you, you, you understand a lot of like. So. That was a difference, but I really enjoyed it in both, but especially there by pushbacks. Sure, sure. Hey, that's where... I'm still favoring uh, a parade. I'm a parade fan still. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, so there's a team <laughs> for that one. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> when I tell you, uh, you know, Santos, Sundowns, Vets, uh, Helsingborg, um, you know which which one was your your best your best your best years? Um, oh. I would say Super Sport, Super Sport. Jeez. I, I, okay, I, forget I, Super Sport. I learned a lot at Super Sport uh, under coach. Yeah. Uh, it was also eye opener. I was young, I was seventeen. It was the first time away from home, so yeah. there were some tough lessons early on. So when I've mastered those challenges, it kind of made it easier for me to adapt uh, any of the other clubs. But uh, I've uh, we've grown, and uh, every single team I've played for, I think I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time uh, as a reporter. Thoroughly enjoyed. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I expect. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have really thought about this, eh? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, and then um, the journey to the national teams, you know. Um, Ayako Tano is different. We jumped from 17, 20, 23 to Yeah, but when I'm from Tiba, it was changing to Mapana, you know, after Mapana had done what they did, you know, qualifying for World Cup, all that, all that pressure, you know. So you guys were the next generation now from Tiba. How was that energy now being the next guy? Um, you know, after the 96 and 98 guys? Uh, uh, firstly, um, uh, it, it is a great uh, feeling for me to have uh, represented my country. Um, but mostly when I'm done, 
Uh, mostly so, when I saw Anand Ngati, uh, it came very late on my age. I was already 29, 30 when I got my first call up. Yeah. But uh, actually what I wanted to say is um, at the time where, where I got my first call up, it wasn't easy to get into the national team. Yeah. Huh? You, you can be consistent for about three years. You won't get in that national team. National sure. team was a tough. Yeah, it, yeah. it was really tough. Uh, it was really tough. And uh, I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the people that broke that also that other door to get into the national team. You understand that? Um, compared, compared to our years, these years now, uh, it's easy to get into the national team. Now, now you only need to play one game, a good game against Parade or Cheese or Sundowns. You are in the national team. And <laughs> uh, so, um... <laughs> hey, you guys, and you, you know from Tiba that um, hey. the 2002 team that qualified for the World Cup, uh, Korea Japan, oh, yeah, was, sure. the last, was the last one to qualify. I'm telling you, I'm for it. And hey, 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 and uh, hey, now you're coming to another thing. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh what, what, a, oh. what a wonderful feeling for you to, to be like to be the World Cup and one. Hey, you put me cook school and one. You going to play and you get World Cup. You, 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 you. you. <laughs> no, you can uh, get the World Cup. I, I, I don't have words to put it for you. How was that experience from Tiba? Um, you know. And now we know we need to call up the FIBA final final. We need to make it to the World Cup. How you know Queen Fortune is called a score penalty to save the team. Yeah, uh, there was many moments that not even as you think Slovenia throwing against Paraguay and a coach in the biggest stage against Vikram. Yeah, uh, but it 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 was a natural. It it was a nice land over competition and for it and especially when you're involved now. Yeah. Uh, it's just that it go, we didn't go through to the next round of four. Sure, sure. But, but, but what I like about that World Cup is the preparation of South. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we went with the with the legends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Told me about teenagers, uh, Omalombo. Yeah, told me. Yeah. So you when you when you when you are in the hotel for it, when you are going to maybe a lounge or whatever, you go. I yeah, told you that you pump up with teenage, you know, like, a football person, you know, so you can go high, you know, 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 yeah, yeah. But when they learn to teta the same language as the players, yes. Sure, sure. Yeah, so good. In any any time, you guys as a team from Tiba, they kick the doors, they open the doors. I think in a game, you guys are the next generation. About book, a long time to go from 17, 20, 23, yeah, all the way to Bafana. So like any in any army, you know. How how was that for you guys? In Kalago, in Tibana, obviously at 17. Of your good twenty, you sell up and ban in Angubani, and then go twenty three, now go by, you don't you can I? It was honestly interesting uh, when you get promoted and you start off at seventeens and you get promoted to twenties, or who stays longer at twenties and goes to twenty three, and then who takes another step from twenty three to ultimately the final final. So, uh, Tina Sikula song, I think we had a camaraderie around us. Yeah. Uh, and at some point, it was difficult uh, for new members to fit in. Yeah. Tied to a tight group. Oh, you guys were tight, yeah, so, yeah. A tight group. So you get, you are disappointed that your friend didn't make it to the next age group. But uh, you kind of open the door and you tie the next one coming in. Because ultimately, the goal is to win and to be as successful as possible. So uh, it helped. It helped. It helped a lot. Uh, the coaching structures were, I wouldn't say 100% perfect, but they were yeah. It was, it was a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, if you have to chase your dreams, you're not going to depend more of uh, which coach you have. So yeah. What you which, which national coach was maybe the, the one where you thought, ah, go to a move? 
I think they played their part. Uh, yeah. The beginning stages uh, for the organization. It yeah. was a time where uh, coaches had uh, proper training. It was just uh, ex-professionals who yeah. had connections and uh, they got the job. And the job, yeah. we were young kids uh, fortunate enough to learn. You know, this day and age is very different. Uh, the level of coaching you have to get to, um, to actually train and teach our young players how to play for us. It's very different. But uh, it's around to every coach I've ever coached. All right, all right. Um, yeah, you guys didn't make it to, to, to Upcorns and World Cup standards. Uh-huh. And, and you guys were, were supposedly the, 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 the most talented generation because, you know, you guys got everything in terms of uh, getting getting to play professional football for mm-hmm. the professional, traveling at a young age, you know. Uh, what happened, do you think, in your generation? Why did your generation reach its, its, um, its, its potential? Besides, who's still in the world? I don't think uh, there's a footballer who does not want to make a make uh, The stars were not aligned for us or for the country as a whole. And it hasn't been for quite a time. Hopefully, the years to come, the structures that are in place now can really be. Uh, Produce uh, a talented uh, group of young people that can present us at this event. All right, all right. Um, and the World Cup that you guys watch now, um, you know, it uh, is even in papers. We need Organia. Did you guys uh, get it completely wrong, like I did with Germany? <laughs> you mean you mean there should be a conversation around the goat? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, come on. <laughs> Uh, 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 <laughs> so that question, that question is obvious. Yeah, obvious. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I knew uh, Argentina, uh, um, they are going to reach a semi-final or final. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and when they reach the Landogi semi-final, then I was sure that they're going to get the final. All the way, yeah. And, and I was also praying for Messi. Uh, of course. <laughs> you think the you think the world is fixed now? Um, if something has been fixed now. That Messi's got a World Cup title. The world is still the right to yeah yeah. Now I think the right way. The world is still yeah. the right way. <laughs> the gods have spoken. Uh, the gods have spoken, my dog. Uh, yeah. All uh, right, let's run that promo again and just remind the people. Um, you know that uh, yeah, as much as you play. Um, you know, you're betting online, you need to relax, make sure you're not angry, you're not agitated. There's something that's nothing that's frustrating you when you're making your decisions on how to line up your bets. Play responsibly, bet without regrets. That's the message by Superbet. All right, I'm Mutano Momeni and Tabo Momeni. Of course, my name is Umchaga. This is On the Couch, powered by Superbet. We're getting to the next segment. Gentlemen, now, let's Hello. talk NetBank Cup. First of all, let's talk, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's talk, uh, Pirates in the city, you know. Mm. Pirates in the ah. city. Cape Town. Cape Town has got a vibe, uh, you know. As you guys said, there was no football for a little bit of for a little bit uh, because of the World Cup. Now Pirates is bringing the vibe. Cape Town City. Um, they won their first match on Saturday, and they drew. They lost against Super Sport United. Um, how do you think they feel going into this match? Uh, I think uh, Cape Town City should have an edge over this one. Uh, the conditions uh, in January in Cape Town would suit them better. Uh, Paris have not been in traveling uh, of late. So I would give it uh, just a bit. Yeah. Okay, give it to Cape Town City. Yeah. All right, all right. And now uh, from Tiba. When, how do you feel? And Pirates is not doing too well as well from Diva. Um, hey, at the moment. Yeah. And the other side of the you are recognized hey, as one of the icons. Yeah. Actually, my little brother, hey, is saying, um, he's reminding me of something that Orlando Pirates really, 
when they are traveling to Cape Town, hey, they don't have that much luck. Yeah. Uh, on the on the other hand, uh, since I'm a Coptonian, I think it would be wonderful that um, uh, Cape Town City can win over Pirates. But on the yeah. other side, hey, I'm a Pirates fan too. <laughs> hey. <laughs> now I'm really. Um, you told individual. I'm, I'm, I'm really confused. I'm telling you, but um, yeah. I would love Paris to win. I yeah. know I'm an ambassador of the Cape Town City. Yeah. But I would love Paris to win. As well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tough one for you, from Tiva. Uh, tough I'm one for you. you. Really tough one for it. And what do you guys think, Timogu? Um, team Sundown dominate the league like they do at the moment. Do you think you call any team? You know, but Kea Chatando, you were one kind of one of that first generation of big names that was signed by Sundowns under the Apache uh, Newspaper Revolution. Uh, it's not logical to see any team catching Sundowns for the next three or four years. Uh, they might have a chance maybe in cup competitions, but uh, Sundowns have a very good squad uh, that can compete for the league um, two or three weeks. But uh, I don't see anybody uh, competing with them that far. Okay, okay. Um, uh, from Tiba. Yeah, hey, for it on my side, um, I've, I've been telling people for it around me and my friends, which, uh, for the next uh, decade and a half, <laughs> decade and a half, uh, Sundowns will be winning the league. Yeah. And you must remember, I'm saying that, but I'm an Orlando Paris fan. Uh -huh. oh. so from Tiba. Yeah, sure. I lost it. Yeah, you're saying you still you're a lot of Paris fan and you feel sad about saying my son is gonna dominate. Yeah, but uh, for the you must remember for the next decade and a half, I'm not talking about two years or three years. Yeah. It's like for the next decade and a half. Sound down the Hey, okay. Um, which team and, do you and, expect? Uh -huh. yeah, which team do you expect to in that after that decade? Which team do you see in that in the plan? It's on there, Lagu. What I can say for it is just that um, if if the other teams too can learn what Sundowns is doing, if they can say they can just copy what Sundowns is doing. Yeah. Go and ask to the people that are doing it right. Sure. Yeah, 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 tell them for it. That's my, sure. that's my say on that. I don't think it, it, it's even more than just uh, the financial power they have. It's also the type the type of personnel they acquire. Yeah. They don't go randomly uh, purchasing players or recruiting players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they compete uh, continentally uh, every cup competition. So yeah. how they... Okay, okay, okay. And, and, they are not, and they are not taking lawyers instead of uh, former players. They are not, you, 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 you understand? Yeah. If you can see at the old sundown, that are players everywhere, former players everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Sure, no, definitely something something that can be looked at. Um, the yeah. many teams that, yeah, that need to involve, involve their former players. Um, and Jens, uh, there's Netbank Cup also coming up, um, you know. Of course, Niti Sundowns will win the league for the next decade and a half, <laughs> at least. Yeah, um, um, but the cup competition is different. So this season, yeah. of course, do you expect Sundowns to do, to do the double? Um, or do you think Charlie Super Sport with Kevin Hunt now there? Uh, and looking looking like they're looking at the moment. They quite, they, they've won five matches in a row. Um, maybe Cape Town City. Um, can surprise a few people because they made some big signings as well um, of the, in, in January now uh, to strengthen the team. Uh, Ogani and Kami, only team, Sanda, Chief, can surprise people, or maybe a small team, Cape Town Spurs, but Tiba, and Ashwan Bartlett. Uh -huh. um, when I look at the competition, in fact, I'll take it as a Jenga World Cup. Yeah. Um, the competition, I'm um, looking at these are smaller teams to win in net bank. Um, I don't think these are big teams are going to to do well up against net bank. Yeah. I'm waiting for these underdog teams 
to win in that round. Uh, in cup competitions, I think uh, it best suits mid-table teams and lower-level teams. Uh, the big boys aren't really fighting uh, for cup uh, for cup competitions. So uh, the main focus is basically the league. So thank you, Philip. Game from from. Okay, okay, okay. Um, hey, I, I wanted you guys to put your heads on the block, but I think you guys like too many teams. <laughs> but be political, my friend. <laughs> and, and from Tiba, of course, um, now we're just getting to the last segment. Um, what are you up to nowadays, Pokemon? I, I know you were busy in December with initiation to Walanga. How was that experience? Hey, boy. Hey, now, now you're bringing another topic now. Hey, you, we were in football, now you're bringing me to another <laughs> Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, uh, I'm involved in the day in the land we call it the Embo Initiation School. Yeah. Uh, actually, I am involved there. I'm, uh, I'm responsible for the safety, for the safety of the kids there. Sure. Um, actually, I um, like what I like. We have we have got a good record here in uh, in South Africa. So that means here in Langa, we don't. Uh, you Get things of uh, that are passing away during the in the in the initiation school. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you you are right. I was busy. Uh, things are starting to easy up now. Yeah. Uh, there are few boys now in the mountain. Yeah. Uh, so there's no there's not too much work to do now. Sure. But everything is well, but yes, but I'm worried. Why did you bring it up now? <laughs> because you didn't see the whole festive. Because man, yeah, sure. So. <laughs> Every in the bush, you know that. Sure. Sure. And other, otherwise, coaching wise, um, are you still uh, doing the co- the coaching instructions? Um, so do, as you know that I'm a coach instructor and uh, whatsoever, I'm a, I'm a coach. Uh, um. Hey man, things things are not going well on that side. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it, it has been very quiet. Sure. Sure. As you know, I'm in Cape Town. I've been telling people all along. Hey, Cape Town is another place. Yeah. Yeah. So um, how can a person like uh, Tabo who has got these things that they say I've got? Yeah. Uh, just sitting at home, uh, busy with the initiation school. Sure. Whereas uh, um, I should be doing uh, some uh, giving back thing to the kids. Yeah. So yeah. actually, it is very, very quiet. I was sure. a little bit involved with the Spain Academy, a newly formed academy here in Clermont. Yeah. Uh, me and David Nyati. Actually, David Nyati brought me closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. And John, on your side? Uh, well, with the schools reopening, I'm busy uh, with uh, football, coaching clinics, uh, very schools across the Atlantic Seaboard. So uh, the holidays are almost over for me, uh, and it's almost uh, back to work now. Yeah. yeah. Are you still active? Are you still playing? Uh, yes, I still play. Uh, I'm currently playing for FNH, but it's over 35. You know, over 35. Guys, the guys that are very good. <laughs> How's, how's the competition level now for you? Um, well, I've been promoted to the manager at my team. Uh, I've got a new signing. Uh, so I think I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> sure, man. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, any message you want to say uh, to the people for 2023? Well, which is for the new year, of course. Uh, to the teams that are going to be battling out at the Cape Town Stadium tomorrow? I uh, wish everyone uh, in the country worldwide uh, a fantastic uh, 2023 over uh, the love, light, and a lot of blessings. Sure. Hey, well, on my side, my first wish um, is, the, is the end of Philadelphia load shedding. <laughs> <laughs> That is, if we can uh, just get that thing out of our mind, yeah, that, that can be another another thing. Um, and then on the other side, on the football side, hey, my wish is to see um, as many goals as I can see. 
So in a season, uh, I, I would love to. I would love to see our strikers at least in a in a yeah. season scoring twenty goals instead of yeah. nine goals a striker. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. As long as we can improve uh, football wise, uh, I, I can be the happiest man. Ah, wise words said by a wise man okay. from Tiba Tabungomeni, of course, we had also had Tabungomeni in the building, sitting on the couch, powered by Superbet. We discussed everything and everything. Uh, from Bafana Junior National Team uh, to their experiences as footballers, of course, and uh, what they're up to at the moment. So, yeah, you can always reach out to them. They're here. Um, you know, uh, anything that you want to plug? Social media, gentlemen? Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, social media from Tima? I'm good. Hi, I'm not in the moment. I'm not at the moment. I'm not at the moment. I'm not at the moment. Thanks very much, gentlemen. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for joining me all the way from Cape Town. Greenpoint with the Cape Town Stadium backdrop behind them. Uh, Tando and Tabo thank you very much for joining us for another episode of On the Couch Powered by Super Best. My name is Umchaga. Dalam Zali. Tabo Mbomeni. Tabo Mbomeni.